everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem from solvable for y. So let's get going. Problem solve y equals to x p square plus p. Give an equation. Y equals to x p square plus p. Consider as equation one. Okay. So we notice that. We cannot factorize the given equation, right? First thing, we cannot factorize equation one. And second thing is, if you observe the power of one, the equation one is of first degree. In y, right? Y power one. Since we are having y power of one, so one is of first degree in one. If we notice x, x also has to raise to the power one, right? So one is of first degree in x also. And if you notice p, we have p square, right? Highest power p square. So we will say one is of Second degree in p, right? Since one is of first degree in y, and also equation one cannot be factorized, so we'll use here solvable for y method. Also, we can use solvable for x, but here I'm going to use solvable for y. Okay. Given equation. Is of first degree in y, so we are going to use solvable for y, right? Now differentiate. With respect to x, then d by dx of y equals to d by dx of x p square plus p. Then derivative of y with respect to x equals to d by dx of first term plus d by dx of second term. We know that since dy by dx equals to p, so this becomes p equals to derivative. Here we are having x p square, which is in product of u e form. So we we'll use derivative of u e formula u dash v minus sorry plus v dash u. Right? Then we'll get. Derivative of x with respect to x into p square plus derivative of p square into x, right? Plus derivative of p with respect to x is dp by dx. This becomes p equals to derivative of x with respect to x is one. So we'll get one into p square plus derivative of p square with respect to x is two p into dp by dx into x plus dp by dx. Then p equals to one into p square is p square plus two p x into dp by dx. Plus dp by dx. We can remove these brackets. Then I'll write this equation as. Firstly, I'll write RHS part equals to 
LHS part. Okay. Now, bring this P to LHS, we'll get P square plus 2PX into DP by DX plus DP by DX minus P square equals to, sorry, this is just P, okay, minus P equals to 0. Now, take DP by DX common from second term and the third term, we'll get 2PX plus 1 into dp by dx equals to 0, right? And also we can take p common from these two terms. We'll get p times p minus 1, right? Plus 2px plus 1 into dp by dx equals to 0. Now, let's take this term to RHS. Then we'll get 2px plus 1 into dp by dx equals to minus p into P minus 1. Now this becomes, I'll just take 2px plus 1 to RHS then. dp by dx will be equals to minus p into p minus 1 by 2px plus 1. Or we can just write it as minus of p into p minus 1 by 2px plus 1, right? Then, dx by dp will be equals to minus of 2px plus 1 by p times p minus 1, right? And we can write it as, we'll just split this. Consider P into P minus 1 as one term and in the numerator we are having two terms. So we can split this fraction as 2px by P times P minus 1 plus 1 by P times P minus 1. Here P gets cancelled in the first term of RHS. Then dx by dp equals to minus 2x by p minus 1 minus into plus minus 1 by p times p minus 1. Now, bring the term involving x to LHS. This equation becomes dx by dp plus 2x by p minus 1 equals to minus 1 by p times p minus 1 or we can write it as dx by dp plus 2 by p minus 1 into x equals to 1 by minus 1 by p into p minus 1. Consider as equation 2. Okay. And this is of linear equation in x. Right. Where capital P equals to 2y P minus 1 and Q equals to minus 1 by P times P minus 1. Just compare this equation with the linear equation in X and P. Here P and Q are functions of P alone, right? And we need to find integrating factor which is given by e power integral p into differential dp and the general solution is given by x into integrating factor that is dependent variable into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dp plus c right so firstly let's find integral p dp let's find integral P dp is equals to integral, we have P, 2 by P minus 1, take constant outside the integral, you get 1 by P minus 1 into dp is equals to 2 log mod P minus 1, right? You can also write it as 2 log P minus 1 which is equals to log P 
3 minus 1 whole square. So our integrating factor becomes e power integral p dp equals to e power. We have the value of integral p dp which is log p minus 1 whole square. Since we know that e power log some function of p equals to function of p then we will get p minus 1 whole square as a integrating factor. Now let's utilize this formula. x into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dp plus c. Then x into integrating factor p minus 1 whole square equals to integral q minus 1 by p times p minus 1 into integrating factor p minus 1 whole square into dp plus c. This becomes 1 p minus 1 gets cancelled then we we'll get minus p minus 1 by p into dp plus c is equals to minus c here in the integral we are having p minus 1 by pi p which is a fraction right since we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so we can split this into two terms p by p minus 1 by p into dp plus c is equals to minus of integral p by p1 minus 1 by p into dp plus c is equals to minus of integral 1 into dp is integral dp minus integral 1 by p dp plus c. Now, this becomes x into p minus 1 whole square equals to minus of integral dp is p minus integral 1 by p dp is log mod p plus c then x into p minus 1 whole square equals to minus of p minus log p plus c which is equals to minus p minus into minus plus log p plus c or you can write it as c minus p plus log p right we have x into p minus 1 whole square equals to c minus p plus log p now take the term involving p2 rhs will get x equals to c minus p plus log p into 1 by p minus 1 whole square we can write it as c minus p plus log p into 1 by p minus 1 whole square it can be written as p minus 1 power minus 2. Then you consider it as equation 3. Now we need to eliminate p from equation 3 and equation 1. Simply we will substitute x with c minus p plus log p into p minus 1 whole power minus 2. Or we will we'll just substitute x in the given equation. Eliminate p from 3 and 1. Okay, we have 1 which is y equals to x p square plus p. Now what we'll do is we'll substitute x. Since x equals to c minus p plus log p into p minus 1 for minus 2 then equation 1 becomes y equals to x p plus p x p square plus p for x equals to c minus p plus log p into p minus 1 power minus 2 consider as equation 4 so, we came to know that it is not possible to eliminate P from 3 and 1. Okay. So, the general solution to 1 will be given by x equals to some function of P and C 
and y equals to some function of p and c. Okay, the general solution of one will be x equals to function of p and c and y equals to some function of p and c. Therefore, elimination of p from 1 and 3 is not possible. Therefore, general solution is x equals to c minus p plus log p into p minus 1 power minus 2 and y equals to c minus p plus log p into p minus 1 power minus 2 into p square plus p. Okay, where p is a parameter. I'll write it again. Okay. Here equation 3 is the solution obtained from equation 2. That is the linear equation. And to find general solution or to eliminate P from X from equation 3 and equation 1, what we'll do is we'll just replace X by equation 3. But here also we got 4, equation 4 where P is not eliminated. Okay. So the general solution is x equals to function of p and c and y equals to some function of p and c where p is the parameter. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from solvable for why in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye